on this edition of the AudioCat channel. Sure, this is your boy Jay Cruz, aka Nas Audio Cat, here with another day, another video, man. We're just grateful to be here today, man. We got my boy from California Ken just Will. popped up, Ken What's just popped up, up in here, man. But look what we got going on today, man. We got a very special build for y'all today, man. We have a beautiful 2017 F-250 pickup truck. She is a gorgeous truck. I'm in the market for a truck, and this one's actually very beautiful. This guy is a customer of mine for a long time, and he decided to come by the shop because he says, Jeff, I get bought this truck. Uh, I got rid of my F-150. What can you do? So we gave him some ideas. He said he wanted it to be loud and clear, and that's exactly what we got built for him. On this build, we're going to be doing a Nemesis 2K for his uh, base. We're going to be doing 212 Nemesis shallow mounts, ported enclosure. We're going to be doing Nemesis. Nemesis Audio Pro Audio for the door speakers, Nemesis Audio tweeters all the way around, the RP4 radio replacement module from PAC. We're also going to be installing in this bad boy uh, all the speakers in the doors and everything to make it just perfect. It'll be a complete Pro Audio build. I know that he can be ecstatic. This is the deal I made with him. I could do not pay me until you hear it first. That's how confident I am in my team and in what we're building in this car to know that when we get done with this car, he's not just going to be happy, he can be blown away, man. That kind of concept we're going for. So Josh began disassembling of this car, dropping the seats down, started getting the wires ran, started getting everything situated, started plotting and planning to build to get it together. Now, Josh, I got a question for you today on camera. Uh, low class Josh up in the building. What's your YouTube channel? Low class space Josh. Low class space Josh. You, you like that name? Hey. It, works. it is what it is. I just don't it like works. the low class. We got to elevate. We got to go elevation it's here, like man. It's like the stay broke crew. You always got to be humble where you came from. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so on this build here, how do you think the customer is going to feel when he gets his reaction? I think it's going to be loud and he's going to like it. It'll I think he's going to love it. I think he'll love it. So right now, they can begin the assembly and we're going to walk you through this build after we get done. Began now the assembly of the radio. You can see we got the first candle off. We're about to remove the radio to reinstall our new module that we're installing. Could be the AP4 FD21, which allows us to get a clear signal from the unit and get everything that we need for our amplifier install, which they are also working on back here right now. We can see he's going to the factory amplifier, removing the factory unit. We're going to be using Nemesis Audio. As you can see we got the Nemesis Audio uh, NA full range 200 times four, and also the Nemesis 2K that could be going onto that subwoofer kit that we're going to be installing here. And I'm going to show you the subwoofer we're installing on here and can be two nemesis shallow mount 12s going into the bad boy so right now this is what we're working on guys to get this bill going and we get the uh, subs and amps installed then we're going to work on the vocals and get everything tuned up and this customer should be very happy stay tuned back to normal we can't do nothing there until we test over here so right now he's in the process of mounting the amplifiers you can see the full range nemesis right there the 2k over there he's doing all the wiring putting the distribution block as you can see down there he got the nine wire and everything set up once that's done y'all we'll be able to get this car uh, sounding and then install the pro audio and get it going y'all so stay tuned. Screws, screws, I'm gonna walk you through back here so you can see what the finale install looks like. That's all right. Let me get a light so I can just show y'all something really beautiful. Hold on. Let me get up here for y'all. But that's the four channel amp install, the mono block amp install, all wires zip tied cleaned up, distribution block, everything here is perfect as you can tell. We're in the process of putting the radio together, but they're also in the process of putting on the four speakers so we can get the sound. Cool. Show them what we guys, what, what kind of tweeter are we doing here? We're doing the Nemesis Audio, yeah. Hectic Pro, the new Pro Audio, uh, one inch coil tweeters, which you're gonna see that he's actually installing right there. Stay tuned and we can get to the finale of this build and show y'all how this is gonna sound. All right, Cruise Cruise, so on the Ford truck that y'all saw, we already got the system installed. Now we're gonna begin ripping it apart. He decided to add a tester screen. So we're doing a tester screen on that radio. We're also adding on this bad boy, a rock light kit. And you can see Gordon already beginning to install. You see that one pod, there's a line going across, but there's no wires. Actually, he's gonna weld that back together. They can have a rock light kit and we're also doing a train horn on this one. And then we got our boy Daniel up in the building, man. If y'all don't know him, he's always in the shop, man. He became part of the family. Uh, we're doing some tire stickers for him, some DLR, as you can see, and that guard beginning to get ripped apart. Danny, what you want to tell the camera today? No. I'm happy! Finally. Finally. Finally, it's <laughs> happened to me. Danny. All right, y'all, well, I'm going to let y'all go back as uh, we get this rolling. We got King Tony back in the building. Finally. He, got a fallo he had a fallopian tooth extracted, now he's back to normal, right? Mr. All righty, well, stay tuned, y'all. Josh over here doing some tire stickers. I'm going to let y'all see how this man gets busy for a second there. He might get nervous, but this is what he do. I like it when they got this edge right here. I love it too. It makes yeah. it a lot easier. Yeah, because what he's saying that this edge that's here allows us to align to it. Yeah, the other two tires, same sidewall, 
wider tire, didn't have that edge. <laughs> Tony's over there with some customers, you can see, trying to deal with them. Go to work on those lights there. And this one is coming out to do. So this is how Tony, this is how he does his thing right now. But, uh, you know, I just give you a sneak peek behind the shop. It's very busy today, but we're letting them do what they got to do. Uh, he's actually doing it. And y'all can tell what we do here at the shop. Mr. Drew, so you can see we got my boy's car done. Super B392 in the building. Tire stickers are done. The car's coming together. They're about to install the diffuser. We have all the wires and everything around already for the DLR, which is being worked on over here by my son Isaac. He begins to put them together, you can see. One of them did tested. This one actually has the lights, the rock lights done already in the bottom, as you can see here. They're shining in red. We're about to install the train horn kit. So we got the bigger train horn kit for him, which is going to be a bad boy. And then we're doing a test screen. Stay tuned. Something that we've done also, this is a, a tail light tint. And you can tell, you can still see the red, so it's legit and legal. What's your opinion on that? Killer, what's your opinion? A1? A1, bro, it came out fabulous. This is what we do here, man. Everything is actually perfect. So, Tony Snow gonna get this installed. I wish he had the delivery very shortly. We have finished the F-250 truck. And you can see it right here, pulling up. I'm gonna walk you through everything we've done to this truck so far. It's got the light bars and everything in the front. We got the Rock light from Metro. Look at the owner, we'll talk to him in a minute. We also got the beautiful Tesla screen installed. We did the base package that y'all saw. And we have something else, hit that horn there. So this is what he's looking like, man. State your name for the camera, boss. Sean. Sean, I got a question. You came to us a while back with your F-150. We got, to, we got to work on it. You bought this truck, I took you to trust me. You trusted me, what's your reaction? 100% trust Jeff. You happy? Definitely. The sound, how's the sound for you? Awesome, sounds better great. Better than what you thought? A lot better, <laughs> absolutely. Well, you know what, we pride ourselves in doing the best we can to serve our customers. I'm glad that he got his truck and his sign still delivered today, man. He should have uh, many, many years in this building enjoying himself, man. He got a Lynx well, he's got train horns, he's got everything he could think about, man. So I'm really grateful we had a chance to serve him. Once again, we appreciate all the people who follow, like, and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell icons for all the latest uh, videos that we drop. We love you, and uh, thank you for the love that you support. Uh, okay, well, I'm still getting questions here, so let me get back to work, and uh, y'all carry on with the bullshit. Y'all be bored, huh? Screw it. Did you just call me a Screw it. Oh, it was him. I'm sorry. You ain't see my lips, move.